If you are looking for the party, you have found it. We are CampingGearTV.com. I am Ben. I'm Josh. And we are here to bring you the latest and greatest in outdoor and camping gear. Mm -hmm. And today, unfortunately, we're in the studio, but nonetheless, we're going to bring it to you. We're taking a look at another tent. Yeah. And uh, this isn't, past couple tents we've looked at have been smaller, more backpacking tents. This is quite the opposite. Yeah. It's certainly a good camping tent, but not for backpacking. This thing is a mini house. This is a large family you know four person tent really really cool actually. and it's the eureka suite v4 uh so you know i had this thing out last weekend um and uh, uh the this this suite the v4 and the v6 which is the bigger model are pretty new to the market i yeah. they just came out in 2010 uh they've been really well received there's some really unique things about them uh it's won some awards they're also uh, pretty sweet Right? Yeah, and it's pretty sweet. Yeah, get it the sweet four, pretty sweet. Right. Right. I really what I try and do when I'm in the wingman position is bring my A material as far as jokes are concerned. You have to. I mean, the, what else can you do? I mean, that's what I expect of you. Right. Well, I, I expect nothing less. I'll try and provide some other witty comedic banter as the episode goes on, but I just don't know if I'll be able to match that last you, comment. You set the bar high. The tent is sweet. So. Um, it sleeps four people. The floor size of this thing is uh, seven foot three inches by nine foot six inches, and this bad boy costs about two hundred forty bucks if you go to Eureka's site, which is EurekaTent.com, um, or I saw it on REI for two twenty. Right, so you know, not a huge difference. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Um, the uh, the big thing about this is the freaking headroom, right? So uh, you know, most tents you get in. You gotta kind of duck in under, and then it's the middle part of the tent where it gets the biggest, right? This thing, because of its uh, three-pole V-shaped dome, is different than all that. And we'll show some pictures of it too. Uh, but the max height is at the front of the tent, and it's six feet tall. I mean, you can literally walk right in and stand in the thing, right? Which is very unique from what I've seen in tents. What's going on right? here? You're not part of this episode. No. It's not part of this episode. Unacceptable. So, Sit. the the you know the really nice thing about it is that right. So I had this thing out, um, and I was camping by myself, me and my dog, and we uh, you know it took me about forty five minutes to get this thing set up the first time. But it's just kind of the thing with any new tent, especially a tent this big, where the instruction manual even says you should have two people yeah, to set this up. Definitely. But even all that said, next time, it would probably take me 10 minutes to set this thing up. Well, and the, so, re the, reason, for the, two, the reason for two people is just because the sheer size of it. Yeah. You know, it's not, you're going to have to be reaching and passing poles around for something that, is that you definitely need two people for. Pulling the tarp over the top of it, all that kind of stuff, right? Are we, are we saying this here? Right in the middle of our episode. I mean, what are you going to do? Come on. So, uh, the two large side opening doors um, are, are kind of a nice play. Um, you don't see that a lot. This thing's got two massive doors on the front, big time entrance, right? When you go in there, there's all sorts of compartments to put stuff in. Uh, there's pockets on the inside and the out to put stuff, all those things that you would expect to see. It's got a removable divider curtain that can cut the thing into two. So you can have a, a lady's side and a men's side or a changing room. Business in the front, party, party in, the in the back. That's how I like to do it. It's the only way to do it. Uh, one neat thing about it is the, the floor of the tent is, a, is a, a, a tensioned bathtub seam, right? So it's, it's a tensioned seam bathtub floor, right? Which basically means that it's got, you know, a lot of waterproofing and stuff in it, right? So that theoretically, you shouldn't need to bring a uh, tarp, Another tarp yeah. you or whatever. You right? have a thick enough cover right. on the bottom. One of the things you'll see when you're researching this is that the front awning, which you can actually, you can either zip it down to create this wind barrier, right? Because the, the, the top fly comes all the way down, right? Over the front door. Or you can unzip it and bring it up and create an awning, which is pretty sweet. I wasn't able to do that because the two poles that you need to make the awning actually don't come with the tent. So, you know, I was disappointed in that because I actually thought that was a really cool thing about it. And, you know, it wasn't until looking into it really, really closely that I saw the, the, the print that said those poles aren't included, even though the picture's on the front of the box. 
but sometimes those things happen. The poles you can buy at REI for about $25 each, so you're going to have about an extra $50 to buy those poles so that you can put it in full awning mode, which is nice because then you got a little covered area in front of the tent that's, right. that's huge. Especially on days where yeah. you're having to kill some time and the sun is just yeah. glaring. Maybe you don't have a lot of shade at your campsite. You right. don't want to sit in your tent all day and sweat it out. Right. You know, the awning is a really, really good thing to have. Yeah, so these, uh, you know, like I said earlier, this thing's been winning some awards. It recently won the Field and Stream Best of the Best for Tents um, in the September 2010 issue. Best of Field the Best and Stream. Best of the Best is a good thing to win, right? Yeah, Best of the Best is good, yeah. But, you know, you could also be the best of the average, you know, or the most average of the average. But this was the best of the this best. This is the best of the best. That so. means it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. That means it's good. And, uh, you know, I just thought I'd bust out a couple of the little guys in here and show you, you know, about some of the construction of this thing. Uh, you know, we'll see how this goes. Poles are pretty big. The poles are big. They're thick, yeah, which I thick. like. And at first I was actually kind of wondering, are these things going to even flex? They're so big and meaty, but they did. It worked well. So very sturdy. I, I could see this being durable and lasting a long time. And take a beating. Yeah. Which yeah. they probably need to because that one thing to watch that the height because the tent is so high. If you're in a, a windy, mm -hmm. you know, a windy environment, yeah. the tent's got to be able to hold up. Yeah, this comes with this little thing, which is almost kind of like a little laundry basket or something that you can clip on there and put stuff in. Kind of nice, just throw stuff in. Uh, it came with a lot of stakes, which is nice because sometimes you lose them. So it's nice that it came with a little extra. And again, needed yeah. to, to hold the tent down in case yeah. you have any sort of wind or anything like that. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. You know, I uh, I found this thing to be really roomy. Um, you know, it's a four-person tent that I think could legitimately fit four people unless you have a very large family, which honestly, if you do, then probably three people. Right. Right. But you know how that goes with tents. Um, really roomy, great headroom. This thing seems like it's built like a tank. Um, you know, you know. Watch some reviews. Check out other things about Eureka tents. They're really well constructed. They last a long time. Yeah, our uh, one of our most highly viewed video was on the our other Eureka tent review. Yeah, mm -hmm. they they always seem to just uh, bring it with yep. the tents. They do bring it. Eureka brings it. So yeah. But anyways, yep. Check them out. Thanks to Eureka for sending that to us. And yep. uh, come back. Check out more videos. Leave some more comments. But I believe that is our episode for the day. Just keep keeping it real. Keep living life to the fullest. I'm Ben. He's Josh. CampingGearTV.com.